clickbait, clickbait. This might be that. You click this video to see me lose it at Kirsty. Clickbait, clickbait. Kirsty's my nail queen, and I would never compromise there. So now, enjoy this video. <coughs> I'll make sure not to give up my day job. Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. For anyone who's new here, I'll give you a quick recap of this week for me. I woke up one day and I wanted to hop on the Milk Bath Nails bandwagon. I wanted to sculpt a set on myself, but I don't wear acrylics anymore and I haven't done so in about one and a half years. So I watched my Nail Queens video, that's Kirsty Micken for those of you who don't know, on how to do this and I was ready to go. I collected my flowers, I buffed my nails shiny and I applied my acrylic to my nails in hope I could easily pop them off when I finished. And this brings me to this video. As you can see here, I'm trying to pry off these nails and they're not popping off. Not only that, I can feel my nail hurting underneath as I try to separate the acrylic off it and I'm breaking an anxiety sweat as we speak. Now I'm thinking, how on earth did Alicia, a gorgeous 12 year old girl, not cry out in pain as Kirsty popped her nails off? Am I just a suki lala? But then I remembered, hang on, Kirsty used cuticle oil too. Maybe that's what I'm missing. So I dab on some cuticle oil in desperate hope that it will make it a slippery mess and the nail will just slide off. I also use a cuticle pusher to help the situation, but the nail still feels stuck on pretty well, even though it's loosening from the cuticle end. At this point, I'm using much more force than I'd like to in this situation, and in comparison to Alicia's removal, mine is definitely not working out the same. What am I doing wrong? Could it be the fact that I used acrylic instead of acrogel? I give my pointer a break and try removing the other nails but they're stuck on even tighter. Judging by the sensation in my nail, it feels loose on the nail bed but hella stuck on the free edge. So this gets me thinking that some acrylic seeped underneath the free edge as I was sculpting my nails. So to combat that I put a diamond bit on my e-file and I try to file it off from underneath my free edge. Once I'm satisfied that it's all off, I try prying it off again with my cuticle pusher. It's still a little bit stuck but I definitely feel it coming loose. Oh, oh my god, I'm free! I'm free! It's such a good feeling to have that nail off, to be honest. So I'm examining the nail, and for the most part, it looks pretty good. Only close to the free edge does it look a little bit rough. So now that I've figured out the winning formula, I go ahead and I repeat the same process on the rest of my nails. It's actually such a satisfying feeling to pop those nails off one by one. I'm going to link Kirsty's video in question down below in the comments, though I suspect every single one of you have seen it already, because we all love our nail queen, don't we? <laughs> Um, but to recap from her video, for the best results to have easy removal of the nails, you need to have short nails, buff nails super shiny, sculpt with acrogel so your product doesn't seep under your free edge, and wait a couple of days before you attempt to remove them. So there you have it my lovelies, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me a like if you did, make sure to leave me a comment down below as well because I love reading your comments and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So that's all I have for you today, my lovelies. I'll catch you all on my next video. Thank you so very much for watching. Bye.